Crazy, uh, anal. Um, I think it does take a, a special individual to uh, want to put himself through this every single year. There is a certain amount of stubbornness to making sure that this goes off without a hitch and is the best it can possibly be. It's so fulfilling, I can't get that anywhere else in any of my areas of expertise. is kind of a clubhouse and everybody thinks it's their clubhouse but the nature of the clubhouse changes depending on what's being shown there's the idea of the three you know most important places in your life so you have your home you have where you work and then you have that place that you know makes you feel like you're a part of a community you know your home away from home uh, and that's what NCN's always tried to be and by extension, that's what the Florida Film Festival has become for filmmakers, for staff, for volunteers, for the community. I think the Florida Film Festival has really done a solid job over the years of maintaining its roots in the celebration of film itself and the celebration of filmmakers. And because of that, it stands apart from other festivals. Generations of movie makers have been honored at the first Florida Film Festival. It is both a celebration of the art form and a way to attract more productions to the Sunshine State. Marker. I thought this town needed a film festival, and so it was decided that we could put one on and we could put on a big one. So we went all out for it and we put it together in six, seven months. There were loads of challenges, but there was no pushback. I mean, at that point, everyone thought this was going to be Hollywood East. Thank you very much. Welcome to Encian for the opening of the Florida Film Festival. It's certainly a perfect environment to see films that are offbeat and artistic in nature. Unlike, uh, let's say, the Bach Festival or the Opera or the Symphony or even the Art Museum, I wanted to put on an event that brought the entire community together and that would make Orlando a better place. I mean, I think right away the festival was kind of a hit. The community response was phenomenal. I was always impressed, even in the early years, every time we did one, I was like, oh, that was just a minor miracle. We're doing a festival again. But I think momentum on what a great regional festival this was, I think that really picked up in the late 90s. There are just so many great success stories. There really are. Uh, when we saw the Blair Witch guys sell their movie at Sundance and then come back to open. Here is our opening night film. Now that's a pretty high point, isn't it? It was just, those were our guys. That's a big success. The film test screened here a couple of times. I remember seeing a work print that was like two and a half hours of lots of, lots of leaves shuffling and people running around in the woods. And then, of course, Chris Gore's book, The Ultimate Film Festival Survival Guide, listed us in his top 10 festivals in the world. So it was kind of like all of these events happened at the same time where it started to build up our reputation. Last year's theme of the festival made a somewhat quisitory statement as regards the role of film in our society, as the film was film as art. In 1993, the film has been the unquestion, unquestioning and definitive film is art. And by God, it is. 30 years ago, when this festival started, we were the only film festival in Central Florida. Now I can throw a rock and hit a film festival. A lot of people don't realize that the Florida Film Festival is an Oscar qualifying festival. We're one of less than 50 in the world that has all three categories Oscar qualifying for the shorts programs. But again, it's certainly never gone to our heads. I mean, we all think of this festival as like the little engine that could, like, I think I can, I think I can. And every year we start that up again. You know, we think we can do this. We've done it before, let's do it better. But it's always daunting. 
But I will say this much, um, the 160 movies in this festival, and right now only three of them are not going to play virtually. And you'll see a term that we've never used in the festival yeah. program before, which is um, theatrical premiere, because some of the stuff has been available virtually yeah. in state, but has never played in a movie theater. It's brave to run a festival during COVID. Is it hard? Yes. But it, more importantly, it's brave because we, in a sense, are leading the edge. There's not many people who are actually doing an in-person festival. It would be easy just to say, let's just go virtual. That's what everybody else is doing. But no, we went the harder method. <laughs> we, we decided we were still going to have a festival where people could come and experience the movie as it is meant to be seen. And I believe it was the right choice because we will make it happen no matter what. We will take extra precautions. We will fog the theatre daily. We will clean down surfaces in between movies. We will do whatever it takes. It is the right decision for us to keep on doing what we do. You know, running this festival is not like climbing a mountain and planting a flag on the top. It's a lot like, more like painting the Golden Gate Bridge. You go from one side, you get to the other side, and then you have to go back and start painting it again. And you just do it and do it and do it and do it. It has an important function in the community and that's a good thing. There's something about all of us getting together as a tribe and the lights go down and the magic that appears on the screen that you're just never gonna replicate, no matter how big your screen is at home or if you wanna drag 65 of your friends in and make them all popcorn. Um, it's just not quite the same thing. It's a completely different experience and the fact that the Enzian is still here surviving and thriving is just a testament to 30 years of building and growing and reaching out and being part of the community and embracing the community because in times like this, it's amazing to see the community embrace them back. It's such a narrow amount of films made that make it to the theaters, that, that get people to see them. So I think film festivals are really, really important for keeping the art form democratic and, and opening it up to to alternative voices, alternative stories. I think it's really important that festivals like the Florida Film Festival champion films that are seeking to make a difference in representation. Because for such a long time in filmmaking, it's kind of been one story, one voice. Um, and I think that film festivals are so important in kind of uplifting those stories that have not had a platform historically. The way I like to think of it and the way I explain it to people as far as Indian and the film festival, it's your window to art. The Florida Film Festival isn't um just about films, it's a lot of it is comes from the people that work here and everybody has added their own sort of creative touch to what we do here. The team is so invested and thoughtful and creative. It's not this is not hundreds of people that put this event on. This is like a dozen people that put this event on. And of course there's tons of volunteers. We could never do it without them, but this is something all of us are doing for the community. I am just psychotically proud of the fact that we have a film festival and that even one person comes to it. When you come here, you feel welcomed. You feel like you are part of a family, a family atmosphere, whether you are a patron, whether you're a volunteer, whether you are a filmmaker, that when you come to the Florida Film Festival, you feel welcomed and you feel important. <laughs>